this retreat is all about, as Isaac said, demystifying discernment, uh, which means we start with uh, one of those loaded church words, uh, which is vocation. Vocation is one of those words that seems to belong to the clergy, but that I really believe should belong to everyone. Usually people think of a vocation in church terms, as in a vocation to be a priest or a call to religious life. But none of that really highlights the root meaning of vocation, which is about calling. And you know, there's a theological basis for this, because one of our core beliefs as Christian is that God calls everyone to be a part of the holy work of loving, healing, and reconciliation. It's that thing that God calls you to do, that thing that uses every part of you and more often than not leaves you more fulfilled than you started. You can be called to be a parent or a gardener or a big data person, but it's not always about how you make your living. It's about how you live into your best and fullest self, offering the world all you are with the Holy Spirit's help. found through my life I chose not to go into the priesthood that was definitely a consideration for a long time mm -hmm. um, decided that wasn't my role but I am someone who's very extroverted and I'm a community builder so I found what tugged me what, what kind of called me was to work with community and to mm -hmm. develop resources to work with youth both coaching a youth swim team and also working with the church in other nonprofit groups. Um, so I find that through listening and being open to kind of the path that they're, they're bringing me on, it's not straight. Um, I'm not great with change, but I've had to throw it out the window, especially this year and say, okay, it's not gonna go like this. It's gonna meander and then offshoot and then come back. Right. Yeah. But that's the beauty of a calling is that it's not straightforward. There are hidden patches or you fall through something and that's okay. You pick that yourself back up and you keep going with peers, with mentors, and with friends, and your family. So a calling is something that you, you find and almost fall into, but then it's up to you to kind of follow it if you, if you so choose. This idea of a calling um, uh, is a good place to start um, because in order to have a call you need someone to do the calling you need someone to be the caller and um uh and obviously you know for me that's that's god um in in the person of uh jesus but there was a time in my life when i thought um my calling was something very different than being in the church and being a priest um uh and it's only through um through discernment, um, through the, the practice of sitting and uh, looking at my life and listening to um, uh, other people and what they thought about my life, um, that I was able to understand um, that all of the meanderings that my life uh, had taken me to the point um, where I was ready to, to start thinking about um, ordained ministry were really signs of ministry all along. Um, because there was someone uh, who wouldn't uh, who wouldn't let me just uh, live for myself alone, but but really wanted and needed me to to live for others and to serve others. And thanks be to God that she was very patient that whole time that I thought I was doing um, uh, something else and I was meant to be doing something else, but uh, instead um, uh, was there uh, being the caller all along.